It's November here in Colorado, and that means that the weather's cooling off, the leaves are falling off the trees, and it's got me in the mood for a toasted marshmallow, which is as good a reason as any to talk about our new thermocouple probes and our new thermocouple amplifier breakout board. A thermocouple is a type of temperature sensor that works at very high temperatures, and it achieves this by using a bimetallic strip that actually generates a small electrical potential when one end of it gets very warm and the other end stays cool. Now you have to actually amplify this differential if you want to read the temperature off of the sensor, so that's why we also sell an amplifier breakout. Now this amplifier takes the very small potential and makes it large enough so that you can read it into a microcontroller. Now the nice thing about this particular amplifier breakout is that it not only amplifies that difference, but it also reads it out over SPI. So you can actually communicate with it using a serial interface and you don't have to have an open ADC on your microcontroller. In order to demonstrate how a thermocouple works, and in order to feed my addiction for mallow, I have built this high-tech marshmallow roasting stick. Now this will allow me to read the temperature of the fire as I roast my marshmallow so that I get optimal toast on the mallow. On the other end here, I have this uh, handmade wooden handle and our amplifier breakout board. This is our brand new thermocouple amp. And I have one of the thermocouple connectors, which allows me to just plug this thermocouple probe directly in. And it's reading the temperature over SPI from the thermocouple amplifier and sending it to one of our serial seven segment displays. A few things to go over with this thermocouple probe. Now this is the new one that we're selling. It's a stainless steel type K probe. It's 200 millimeters long and it's it's rated up to temperatures of, I believe, 400 degrees Celsius. Now this says on the data sheet very clearly not for direct contact with food. Now I believe that it's safe because this is uh, supposedly stainless steel. It can't have any lead in it because it has to get quite hot, so lead wouldn't work out very well in that situation. What I imagine they mean is that you should not use this in direct contact with food as a food thermometer and you shouldn't build it into a product where it will come in direct contact with food, otherwise you probably won't get your NSF rating. Oh, uh, we're in the 90s now. We're in the 90s now and that marshmallow is toasting. That is toasting a mallow, 110, 112 degrees Fahrenheit. It's on fire. Oh yes, that is a properly toasted mallow and we are reading 116 degrees Fahrenheit. I think we're good to go. And get another one of these guys on here. Oh, look at that. Not for direct use with food. Well, that's the new thermocouple probe, thermocouple uh, amplifier breakout, and thermocouple connector.